Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are in this world. This is Agent Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you in the USA. <clears throat> I know during the pit bottom stages of this kind of bear market, it may be difficult to swallow a turkey. However, if you look past in the history of Bitcoin, this kind of correction and this kind of proportion is nothing new. The volatility of this correction and the depth of this correction <clears throat> is not the death of Bitcoin. Um, I believe Bitcoin will not die, but instead rise up to levels that will be unfathomable, especially during the levels of a Bitcoin, uh, of a, a bear market for Bitcoin. So let's keep our chins up. I know for many of you, when you are holding Bitcoins and the price keeps going down, you get very frustrated. You get very antsy. You get impatient. You even want to lash out at whoever or anybody. It is very innate nature of human beings to project their guilt or feelings of hurt or feelings of loss. And whether that loss is a feeling of monetary, a loss of um, face, or loss of what have you, it's very difficult to take accountability for any of our trades that may be a loss. And, and the natural reaction is project outwards. So I'm seeing a lot of that happening nowadays. And you know what? That's okay. I've seen it happen and every time it's the same thing. Every time it's the same script that just plays out for a bear market. Having said that, now the short term really doesn't matter much at all. I think we've got one more lower low, maybe even lower low than the 36, 3700. The precise bottom obviously is not known by anyone. Trying to peg the bear market bottom is very challenging, especially when there are 36 combination potentials at every flick and turn of the price. However, I am a believer that Elliott Waves does allow a peak around the corner from a probability perspective. And that is what I have been using since 1997 to today. Is it perfect? No. Does it have uh, um, weaknesses? Absolutely, and that is the subjectivity of Elliott Wave and how you count and how you interpret. But no matter the technique that's applied, no matter the uh, um, combination of techniques that is applied, the interpretation of the trend is really what matters the most. The ABC, we could get a higher C for wave 4. So I've got a 4 with a question mark. Or it could be already complete with an ABC where I have the wave 4 already there and we can see, see a potential to 5. But either way, this just means we'll get there earlier. And this scenario just means we'll get there a little later. Already this is looking 3 and 3. What I mean by that is we have three waves as subways for A. In fact, I'm sorry, I'll bring that right over here. And we have three waves for for the B wave now. Whether this will be ABC here or ABC, and I think it'll be probably the latter, where we have ABC, and we've got one more little bit lower low for the C to go for the red C of blue B, and then to the C over here. So probably much of today will be spent in the completion of the ABC 
of the, of the blue wave B. While the micro count is showing these options, I want to go over a little bit of a difference just in the detail of the longer term count, but really the same thing in the output of the of the uh, terminal phase and how it'll probably end. As you know, the semi-log chart, I have been counting it as W, X, Y, X, and Z. Yes, it has well surpassed my 4700, even the plus and minus the minus 250 region. Okay, I understand. My projection on that target for Z was off. And you know what? I will be off in other times as well. But I do know this. If the WXYXZ is complete, then the Z completion has to be somewhere around in this region. Could it be into the purple? Yes, that is possible. Could I give you a count where it'll go into the purple? Absolutely. But I think from a probability perspective, and yes, my probable call for 4700 did not pan out. I know and I understand and I take full accountability and I will show you I've got skin in this game. <laughs> I've had skin in this game since 2011. And I have seen many, many types of these corrections. Micro scale to macro scale for Bitcoins. For Bitcoin. Now, <clears throat> I got into Bitcoin because of Robert Plector from Elliott Wave International when in one of his newsletters he had published about Bitcoin and I was like what the hell is Bitcoin didn't understand it but he recommended everyone to get into it at that time I just followed blindly now if we have this WXYXZ what I wanted to share with you was a different label and that label is very simple and it's very valid but I, I wanted to show it to you because it really points to the same trajectory. We have the A, B, and let's say we have it at C right here. And if we get the degree of trend correct, so what we are saying is this is an ABC subwave, okay? So let's make that into a three-wave swing because, well, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's change that. This is a five-wave swing, which you can call maybe a leading diagonal potentially, but where you have the one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And then you have the B wave for that three-wave swing. So you have the A, B, and C. I think that's a tee bit higher than the peak afterwards, so I'm going to put that there for now, but it really wouldn't matter much at all. Let's keep that blue. So if we have a one, two, three, four, five, A, B, how the heck is this a C? Alright, so what I mean by that is let's say we have a diagonal one for the C. And what I'm saying is we have a one, a two, three, four, and five. Okay. By the way, when I have degree of trend stacked like this, let's say two of them, the target of that is not at the bottom. It's at the very top of the stack. That's the target. I think some of you are reading the very bottom as the target. No, it's the top. Based on the questions that I'm getting. So let's change this to a different color and make it, let's say, purple. Okay. So we have an ABC construct where we have got a 5, 3, 5. Not exactly a zigzag, we've got a diagonal on a diagonal conjoined by a B wave. 
Why is this a diagonal? The 4 and 1 is allowed to overlap. That's the A. A is the leading diagonal. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We've got an ending diagonal for the C. Okay, now you don't see this too often in the stocks. But you've got a leading and an ending conjoined by a B wave, three wave swing. Now let's delve a little more into as to how this triangle fits into this particular count. If we have <clears throat> okay, and <clears throat> those five subways can be labeled as one, two, three, four, and five. Those five subwaves will be the subwaves for the purple five of C. Okay. Now Let's look at this again. We have an A, B, C swing in the red. Subways of A could be shown as an A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 leading diagonal pattern, which is going to lead the decline into the C. A, B, C is three-way swing subways for red B. Then we're putting this C as an ending diagonal of 1, 2, 3, 4. The purple four was an A, B, C, D, E Elliott wave triangle where the E wave sat on the top trend line of the triangle. And thereby, right now, we are looking at the decline for the purple five of C. And the subwaves of the purple five are shown as one, two, clearly seeing how this decline has been near vertical, has just about every attribute of a wave three. And that attribute is probably showing that based on the spike that wave 3 is complete and thereby wave 4 is being worked on. And this is the wave 4 being worked on right now. And once that 4 is complete, I think we'll get one more decline towards the 37, 3600 within this white rectangle. Okay. I'm getting texts saying we've got to go. We've got to go. Okay. Um, today is a holiday. So we've got A, B, C. And where was I? I'm sorry. We have one, two, three, four, five. And when I say this is five, I'm not what I'm saying is that the probability of this hitting within this region of the blue, hey, it might even go to the bottom of it at, let's say, 3,000, okay? But based on the breaking system that we have, that the support region will generate, I think, should be within the main body of this support uh, range, okay? There may be a, a very sharp decline, crazy manic decline, like maybe something like this or this. I mean, anything's possible, okay? But from a probability perspective, what I'm saying is that the, the main body of this support will probably have the biggest breaking effect. And, and much energy has already been spent on this. So we've got one, two, three, four needs to finish. And I still think that maybe the end of December could have a, a potential to do a, a sizable turnaround. Now, whether that'll be the reversal that we will be looking for, that'll have to be confirmed, okay? And we'll get into that once that happens. Now, we've got this ABC. Now, let's, let's look at it in the previous count that we had. 
and that'll be a W X Y X Z. It's no different. Only the subwave composition is different. Okay, so what would be my primary count? It wouldn't matter how you label it, whether it's a W X Y X Z or an A B C. It really has the same trend direction. That's pretty much is what I wanted to share with you today uh, and let you know that this one, two, three, four, I'm expecting a lower low into the price region of this white rectangle and potentially even down to the bottom side of the rect of the blue uh, region. Now, if you're going to panic, I have to say this is the worst time to panic. You should have been panicking here. If you're going to panic now at this point and sell it, then what I'm going to be using is using these panic sellers. And, and what do I do? I take a tabulation of, of, of clients who come back to me who, are, who literally at times flip out because they just can't take the pressure anymore. And I completely understand. Uh, and, and, and that's happened. Uh, a good number of times uh, people you know they say there's a saying if you really want to get to know a person play a round of 18 hole golf golf with him well the way I say it is if you really want to get to know what a person really is inside okay what you really need to know is see how they perform on their emotional maturity during a bear market even in my comments, I've got a few people not performing too well, I'd say, okay, on their emotional maturity. So, yeah, we've got a low low to go, I think. Uh, given how this has declined into a very uh, attributing wave free decline manner, four and five. I'm making five about equal to one, if not a little bit longer, but about the same. Because when threes is extended, one and five usually tend toward equality. Okay, everyone, that's it for me for today. I won't be doing probably any midday updates. I'll be celebrating with my family and friends as well. And I wish you the same. Happy Thanksgiving.